a better wash day, Madakiapi Oloa Mia. I wanted to take some time to express my gratitude and my love for everyone who came forward to support me while I spent a little time in Morton County Jail. We're here to show support for our sister. And to Thank let her know you that we love. to the live stream journalists and indigenous media for your fearless dedication in covering frontline truth. And today we are going to go there with a big war cry noise demo to let the world know and to let Aloha know that she's not alone, that we will never leave our sisters behind enemy lines. It was so awesome. I had no idea. While it was happening, they put A block on lockdown. The captain told us why we were on lockdown. He said because there was over 200 protesters at the front door of the jail. I want to thank everyone who showed up that day to send your voice, not only for myself, but to show those who think they are in control that we have no fear. When it comes to protecting water, we have no fear and we'll take it straight to their jail. It's all right! You are here! It's all right to be on the sidewalk! They're pointing out the sidewalk! It's all right! They're pointing at the sidewalk! It's all right to be on the sidewalk! What do you have to say about that? That day I was arrested on September 13th. It was an eye opener. For everyone who's really paying attention to the tactics that are being used, I wasn't intending to be arrested that day. When the police came, they were basically snatching and grabbing and arresting people. Sir, stay where you are. You're under arrest for criminal trespass. Impress, sir. Dapple's private security was a lot more aggressive by pointing their semi-automatic weapons at the protectors there that day. The fact that they're no longer giving disbursement orders. As you can see, sheriffs have automatic weapons on unarmed people. After being booked into Morton County Jail, arrest warrants surfaced due to nonviolent direct actions against the liquid genocide of White Clay, Nebraska. The free Oloa war cry noise demo happened on my seventh day awaiting extradition. The following day, Nebraska came after me. I spent one night in Rushville before facing my charges for stopping a delivery of alcohol. The charges are terroristic threat, theft, and two counts of criminal mischief. I went in front of the judge and an arraignment date was set, so I'll know more in a few days. I also want to acknowledge Alcohol Justice for your continued support in the battle against liquid genocide. To my relatives who've been personally affected by um, the destruction that white clay can cause. I also want to send my love to my family at Red Warrior Camp. I saw your masked faces. I felt your fighting warrior spirit in the videos and the songs that I heard. I'll never be able to express my full gratitude to you for showing that type of warrior love. I do this for the unborn grandchildren of every resistor within those encampments, regardless of tribe, nation, color. Wherever you come from, we stand in the way of this black snake for the unborn grandchildren of all our nations. Um, it has to be done. And the best way for our young people to learn this way of life, that to learn to protect all that is sacred is to be shown.